making requests more polite, if it's not too much trouble. Hello there, language learners. Welcome back to our series on conversational English. Today, we're going to focus on a key phrase that can help you communicate more effectively and politely when making requests. We're talking about the phrase, if it's not too much trouble. This is a great way to express consideration and courtesy, particularly when we're not sure if our request might cause inconvenience to the other person. This phrase is a polite way to ask for something. It demonstrates respect and consideration for the other person's time and effort. Consider this situation. You're at a friend's house and you're thirsty, but you don't want to inconvenience your friend. Instead of simply asking, can you get me a glass of water? You can say, if it's not too much trouble, could you please get me a glass of water? Notice how this phrase adds a layer of politeness and consideration to the request. Here's how you can include this phrase in your daily conversations. When asking a coworker for help, if it's not too much trouble, could you help me with this report? When asking a stranger for directions, if it's not too much trouble, could you tell me how to get to the nearest subway station? When requesting a favor from a friend, if it's not too much trouble, could you pick up my mail while I'm away? It's important to remember that the phrase should be followed by a polite request. When someone uses this phrase to ask you for something, it's because they respect your time and effort. If you're able to fulfill the request, you might respond with something like, Of course, it's no trouble at all. Sure, I'd be happy to help. If you can't accommodate the request, it's important to decline politely. For example, I'm sorry, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Unfortunately, I can't help right now. This way, the conversation remains respectful and considerate on both ends. So there you have it, learners. We've broken down how to use the phrase, if it's not too much trouble, to make your requests more polite and respectful. Incorporating phrases like this in your conversations can help you communicate more effectively and build better relationships. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use this in your English conversations. Thank you for joining us today and remember, language learning is a journey, not a destination. Until next time, happy learning!